and welcome back to the Women's Rugby League show. We're at the business end of the season and this weekend we have a top of the table clash between York City Knights and Leeds Rhinos. We're here in Leeds to catch up with the Rhinos ahead of that huge game. Coming up, we speak to Leeds legend and coach Lois Forsell. We'll catch up with Fran Goldthorpe and icon of the game, Courtney Winfield Hill. So just what exactly does this club mean to you? It, it means a lot. I've worked um, for the foundation for, for close to 10 years now. Um, so when the foundation and club decided that we we're going to launch a women's team for the rugby um, in 2018, it was a massive step for the women's game, but also really, really important for the city. Um, and for me to be able to play for my uh, hometown club and then I'll move on to coaching, it, it means means a lot and it's um, just a great opportunity. So you were the club's first ever sign-in. How would you say the club and the game in general has grown since 2018? From that moment, it's just snowballed. So obviously I was so proud to be the first sign-in. Um, I ended up retiring in 2019, but from 2018 onwards, it's just been year after year, it's been bigger and better. So the first year it was kind of get up off the ground, but some really, really incredible moments. Then the second year it was Sky Sports games. Um, the third year you're playing, you know, Challenge Cup finals at Ellen Road and, you know, semi-finals at Headingley. And then next year, looking forward to that, it's you've got an opportunity to play in a Challenge Cup final at Wembley. It's just when you speak to girls in the in the, the junior game about how much it's growing in such a short time, it only looks exciting for the future moving forward. How would you sum up the team's season so far? Um, we've, had, we've had a good season. Um, we've had a good season. We obviously got to the Challenge Cup final and we lost out, but I think we were really proud of the girls' performance on that day. I think that we'd learned a lot and we'd, we'd progressed a lot from where we were at last season, so that was a real good good point for us. At the back end of the year, it's all about achieving our potential now. I think we've, in our last game against Saints, we didn't quite do that. We were a bit off the boil. We all know that. We've reflected on that and we know that we can go off and finish the season in a real strong position and play to our potential and, and the girls will do well. How far can Leeds go this season and what are the club's aims for the next few years? Here we've got the last um, home game of the season and I think that we just want to make sure we go out there and, and play to our potential and get some things right that we didn't potentially against Saints a couple of weeks ago. So we're looking at that and then we obviously know there's the, the playoffs and we'll take that a game at a time again. But that, that's us for the rest of this season and, and just moving forward, I think as a club, we want to just keep breaking down um, you know, the barriers and making sure that the game progresses with year on year and the programme is better and that we strive to be the best in the women's game um, and also encourage other people to push along to those um, sort of uh, aspirations. Across the board, there's been a real increase in women's sport participation. For Rugby League, what has that looked like? The opportunity to see the game um, for anyone has been, has been loads more. The fact that it's been on BBC, the fact that it's been on Sky Sports, that awareness and that ability to be able to, to see it and watch it just means that more people get involved. And the viewing figures have been really, really good. I know people have been impressed with them. I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, we do know that it's been better every time it's been on. And just the amount of girls taking the game up um, at junior level. Um, there's more girls playing now than there were. Um, been it, from being able to see it, from being able to aspire to, to be like the girls that we've got here at Leeds. So, the game's heading in a real good direction. I think that just want to look at get it broadcasting more regularly and that'll help us push the game on even more. But a home World Cup will hopefully be a way to do that as well. You're involved with England and the Rugby League World Cup. What are your hopes for the team players and also with the general public? Yeah, I'm involved with England Knights, so that's the, the developing team underneath. That's its performance programme for young players who are potentially playing the 2025 World Cup. So I have had some involvement with the EPU programme as well and played with some of the girls. So I think that for me, I just want the, the women to go out there and have a real great tournament. You can see how hard they've been working, so they're preparing really well. Um, you just want them to go out there and, like we're saying, like achieve their potential and, and play to the best of their ability and enjoy every moment because it's not often that you get to play in a, in a tournament like that. I think it's massive and I think for the public it's get involved. The tickets have got some great packages. I know like for kids it's £2.21 to a game. So just get behind it, come along and as a Leeds girl, I'd hopefully be saying everyone gets to the women's opening game against Brazil um, on the 1st of November mm -hmm. at Headingley. Big game coming up this weekend. How do you think you'll do against York? We've been in training, we've looked at the video reviews, we've looked at areas that we need to improve on, like skill set, defence. We need to make sure that we're connected as a full defensive unit and um, just little little things like markers, 
getting up off the floor, playing it as quick as we can. Um, but yeah, we've definitely, definitely been doing that in training and definitely ready to write some wrongs come the weekend. Definitely got a great attacking threat. They've got very key areas with the likes of Tara Stanley and her step and the threat that she brings. And they've got really key players in key areas and we just need to shut them down. We need to not give them any time on the ball and we just need to take it to them, get a bit of dog in us and just go and give it to them and show them what Leeds Rhinos can do. Who would you say the standout players are from Leeds this season? Courtney Leeds, Roachy Leeds in their halfbacks and they definitely take control of our attacking, our attacking play and then obviously the likes of Hannah Butcher in, in defence, just she brings so much to the team, um, no one is going to get past her and you don't even want to try and run at her. Uh, Kira's obviously got a great pass on her which it gives us a lot of options um, being able to distribute the ball so we've got key, key players in key areas. What has been the feeling from the general public around Leeds this season? Oh it's massively going like we played at Wheatwood at the start of the season in the Challenge Cup and we then went and been lucky enough to play at doubleheaders at Headingley and the fans that have come to watch some of the women's games as, uh, before the men's, it's been been really nice to see like the young girls come out wanting autographs and the, yeah, they've been really nice and it's been what we've sort of been working towards and just as a female player it's something that you do want to you do want to promote and you do want to put out there that we can play the, at the same level as the men. So yeah, it's been really great, really great support. After seeing the masses of support the Lioness has had this year, do you think that the Rugby League World Cup is going to generate the same level of interest? Oh yeah, definitely. I think if uh, we're lucky enough to get selected and be on that stage and on that platform, I definitely think that those support will show for us as well. The Lioness has had a huge fan base and the records were broken in that. And I'm hoping that people will come out and see that we can do it in other areas of the game and um, definitely hope that the same fan base come and support us with it being a home World Cup as well. In terms of Leeds, how have you rated your season so far? Yeah, really good. I think uh, overall really good. Um, where we are at the minute, um, the result this weekend puts us in the mix to potentially you know, be at the top of the ladder and, and we're definitely playing semi. So there's there's never anything to uh, complain about when you're in those sorts of positions. For you personally, how has the season been so far? You know, trying to find momentum has, has been interesting. At times I've had a few weekends off with work commitments and and a couple of other family bits, but um, I'm one of the big pluses. I'm, I'm loving playing alongside Georgia Roach in halves and the further we progress into this season, we're feeling more and more comfortable and. Um, hopefully uh, we can lead the team around really well this weekend. This weekend is a top of the table battle against York. How much pressure is going into this game? I think we've had some terrific games against York already this, this year. Um, you know, they've built a terrific team over there and, and are putting themselves right in the mix as well. So um, what impresses me about them, I think, you know, their, their willingness to compete um, and they've, they've shown that against ourselves and, and St Helens as well. So. Um, it's a terrific, terrific place to be when you've got a number of teams who are all, all three in, in line for the League Leaders' Shield and, and looking for that number one position. Everything is on the line this weekend as both teams look to secure the League Leaders' Shield. The match is live on the Sportsman and we'll be back to preview the grand final on the Women's Rugby League show. Thanks for watching, I'm Christine McAllister.